is was from New York around the same time White Trash was out there. So that's how he found the show and got in touch with me. And that's why I decided to put him on the show. I believe he's in North Carolina now. But we're going to talk about his name and we're going to talk about some of the people we know and, and stuff like that. And most of all, his music and, and, you know, where he's come up with that about the recording process and stuff like that. You know, it's never um, a formal interview. It's just like two guys shooting the shit. But anyway, I do appreciate him sending the tracks in. Master Legend. Um, like he said, he is a musical guest, but that's not why I had him on the show. He's a um, a real life superhero, and he's doing good things. I don't know why people bust his balls. I guess there's always the fucking haters, and he seems to progress through all of that. Just like a musician has to get dig through all the bullshit and you know struggle and the things we do, like this radio show and stuff like that. So he's doing real life um, help. I, I don't know what else to say. He's he's actually out there and he's doing things that he believes in. And a lot of times he puts himself after all of these other people that he'll get his paycheck and he'll go out there and spend his money and and help other people before he helps himself. The guy had a very long day. One of his friends um, passed away last night. So it was hard for him to be on the show today. Um, I... Don't think he really wants to talk about it. Otherwise, he would have. But, you know, there's a lot of things going on in, you know, in the music world. And the guy that owns Spin Magazine said something the other day. There was an article how music is just boring and bland. Rock music fucking sucks today. That like, like he said, there's nothing dangerous about it. There's nothing exciting about it. It's just the same old thing. There's a few bands out there. I see nothing more with Shine Down, and the more I I I I I never really seen them. I I listened to them. I heard a few tracks on Sirius. Um, I guess the sound wasn't there for me because I didn't know the music when I seen them. But the more um, I hear about them, and the more I listen to them, the more I want to go see them at Janice Live down in St. Pete. The guys on the Jim Chinisi show were talking about it last night, so I'm gonna give it another chance because, like Jim, he's always willing to get he's willing to give Godsmack a chance for Christ's sakes. But um, he had a good interview with the guys from Dangerous Toys. That was a great interview on his show. As everybody knows, I'm a big fan of his now. He listens to my show, and we both love Howard Stern. So there's nothing better than that. So ba ba booey to him, and ba ba booey to you all. But you know, there there is no danger in music. There's nothing out there right now that's pissing people off. I, I guess Marilyn Manson was one of those last people to do that. There's a couple of bands that struck a couple of chords here, but nothing ever really lasted. But someone's got to come back and kick this shit in the face. They really do. There's very few. And, and if there is a dangerous band out there or an exciting band out there, they got to trudge through all the bullshit. To make a name and get out there. Because the music business is so accessible now with social media and stuff. Everybody's out there flooding it down and fucking stinking it up. Just like all these podcasts. When I was doing this seven years ago, they probably started doing this eight years ago or whatever. And I was on Terrestrial before that and uh, Satellite. There wasn't all these people doing it. It just keeps getting worse and worse. The more people that are out there. All these years of listening, there's only one show that I listen to on the internet. I used to listen to the AM stations broadcasting because I like talk radio. That's what I like. But Jim's show is the only one that I listen to. And besides Stone Chrome Radio, everything else out there fucking, it sucks. It's terrible. These people aren't broadcasters. I, you know, I'm not gonna boast my own career, but I, I've got broadcasting experience before I ever did this. I've helped these internet stations go from zero and build them all the way up, and then they say, "Oh, we don't need you anymore." That's fine because my show don't need you. But another thing that aggravates the fuck out of me. Clear Channel might have changed its name to iHeartMedia, but it's still the same piece of shit, and that's probably why I didn't get selected to do the show. 
on there. It's like, really? Did you even listen to the show? Maybe you heard me bad mouthing you here and there, which is I do. That's my opinion, and I'm I ha- I'm entitled to it. But to deny me to be broadcast on iHeartRadio because I don't play more than 30 seconds of music? What sense does that make? Did you listen to the show? Do you not want a talk show? Then just say, we don't want a talk show. But that's bullshit. That's all it said. So am I not allowed to play more than 30 minutes, 30 seconds of music? Or do you want me to play more than? Because then you need to reevaluate the show. I don't give a fuck. You're the one losing out. Because I had over 7,000 plays in three weeks between all the different avenues. I'm about to cough and I don't have a cough button. It's, you know, it's not like I have someone sitting here with me to talk while I choke to fucking death. But I don't know. I'm just disgusted with a lot of things as far as music and broadcasting and and all the shit you got to cut through. Yeah, there's these people doing all these interviews, but who the fuck are they? At least you got to have someone someone can relate to, to talk to. Yeah, some people don't, you might not know, and that's the purpose of me having you on, but I don't have the biggest names on there. I could get... Um, bigger names, but what am I going to do for them? They're not going to promote my show. They don't give two shits. They're on it to to feed their egos because music- musicians are narcissists. I'm a musician. Everything's always about me and my music when I was in the music business, and that's how it should be. There should be nothing else. You should go to work and and, and focus on your band and not beg people for money to put your albums out. That's what I believe. Uh, I come from a hard, hard working generation now. It's any jackass with a fucking computer and and Adobe Audition or whatever the fuck it's called now and Pro Tools and all of that shit. I, I, I can make my own music. I can, yes, I can do beats too. But that's not, that's not music to a degree. It is, but it isn't. It's 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 just when you when you're an actual musician and you play instruments it's a different world I'll, i you, if you know me i always have an industrial element to it so there's always stuff that isn't legitimately me creating it but it took my mind to place that sound bit there and made it perfect and picked the right one i was always more of a producer that wanted to be a musician because I can write songs like a motherfucker and I can tell you what to do where and where it belongs and when you need double time and your breaks and all that. But I always wanted to perform as well. So I I chose that path to struggle most of my life. But I, I digress a lot. and We're already 83 minutes into the show. But that was really the only thing that struck me in the news was that what the the owner of Spin Magazine said about the state of rock and roll, which it's true. It, it's weak. Where the fuck is the Guns N' Roses of today? That 80s Guns N' Roses was so fucking badass when you were 15 or 16 years old. You felt like fucking the whole world up. That's what you felt like doing, master of puppets. Shit like that. There's nothing striking. Everything is so mediocre now. Well, however you want to pronounce it. it. It's ridiculous. You have Avenged Sevenfold. You have stuff like that. Yeah, that's good stuff shying down. But where is where is that element? Like the fucking Sex Pistols are coming to town. Or to, the Ramones and, and, and Guns N' Roses and Skid Row getting fucked up and bashing people in the... Shit like that. Just that emotion to that fucking music. It's just... One of those things that don't exist anymore. And I'm pro- probably going on way too long about it. But I became a radio host. I don't like to refer to myself as a DJ because of my passion for music. Because it was something that I got tired of being in the music business and struggling and feeling like a piece of shit. And fucking touring and, and putting my fucking heart and soul out there. And for people to treat you like a piece of shit or either love you or they're fucking fake and they only like you because you're in a band. That, that's been my whole life story. When I was in high school, once people found out I was in a band, all of a sudden I was Mr. Popular. And I was like, you know what? Fuck you. 
yeah, I'm the guy in high school who scored a $1.2 million record deal. Because uh, I have a fucking ounce of fucking talent. But I didn't stay with high school either, so. Now I just work a 9 to 5 and, and do my radio show and talk to cool people about cool shit and about their music careers and how it's going. And every single one of them is going to tell you the same story. It's a bitch. You got guys that are that that, that got to go out on these cruise ships for six months because touring is so bad because fucking they can't make money because gas is too expensive and they don't get album residuals because the record companies are pieces of shit. Uh, they fuck you. And the music business is the only one where everybody makes money but the fucking guy making the record. Some people make money. Yeah, we made money doing our band thing, but it always went 100% back into the band and you're fighting over a fucking 20-piece McNugget on the road. It's just one of those things that you have to do it to experience it and to understand it. Until you do that as an exp aspiring musician, you have to do it as the parent. You have to let them do it. I was just telling the lady at work, your son has to get it out of his system. Let him be the musician. Let him live the struggle. Let him not have the car. Let him have to walk to his girlfriend. Let him live the struggle of doing it because that's what's going to make him the great musician he is when he's in his fucking mid-20s and he's out there and all of a sudden it happens for him. You got to live that struggle. That's the whole, the whole fucking thing. Yeah, it's a bitch, but it's also a dream. And it was a dream of mine, and I would never trade anything I ever did musically for anything in the world. I've toured. I've done all the shit. I was dangerous on the road. I was a badass motherfucker. You didn't want to fuck with me and my fucking dreadlocks. I'd fuck you right up. Fuck you right up. And I was a fucking crazy motherfucker, and that's what people like. You might have hated me what you see me, but you knew who the fuck I was when I left your town. Your paper wrote about me. Your music paper wrote about me. They put take photographs of the band of me bashing your fucking jukebox and fucking smashing shit and burning drummers' drum sets and doing whatever it took to get the name out there. That's how it's got to be. So with that said, I'm going to play a song here off the brand new fucking White Trash album. They're from Queens, New York. Dave Alvin's a great fucking guy. His band is great. He's doing a lot of things out there. The physical CDs were just released. You can go to whitetrashuniverse.com and order yours for $7.99 and probably $3 shipping. I ordered mine. I can show you my receipt. I pay for a lot of my music. Please go out and buy the CD. These guys deserve it. They had the hits back in the fucking 90s, The Crawl and Apple Pie. Love these guys. Love the band. Been a big supporter my whole life. Here's fucking peeping by White Trash. You're listening to the Jay Stone Show exclusively at rockmetaltalk.motherfucking.com, bitches. Hey, man, what are you doing today? I don't know, man. I think I'm just going to stay home. Aw, oh, come on, man. Let's go out. Let's go down to 